Hello, everyone. Today, I will take you all into the class of Oriental Flower Art. I will explain the Oriental Flower Art from the aspects of concept, history culture, flower arrangement types principles and making methods. To understand Oriental Flower Art, let's first learn what flower art is. The flower art is a plastic art that expresses the beauty of nature and life. Basing on the theme of creation or the requirements of the environment. Flower art is created by taking cut-off plant organs such as flowers, leaves, stems, roots and fruits as the main material. Through certain technical treatments such as pruning and bending. Artistic processing in modeling and color matching. And matching with appropriate flower utensils. Flower stands and accessories. It is the organic cooperation of creativity, conception and flower utensils. Oriental flower art is a fusion of Asian thoughts, arts, behaviors, habits and many other elements. With China and Japan as the representatives. Let's pay attention to the following three pictures. And we can see that they are characterized by graceful lines, profound artistic conception, simple flowers fresh and elegant color matching. In terms of modeling, the three main branches are used as the skeleton of the line type insertion method, which outlines various asymmetric simple and beautiful graphics. The artistic effect is fresh and beautiful, elegant and poetic. In China, flower art is a kind of aesthetics in life. People often pursue a natural and unrestrained style, like Chinese classical gardens, Chinese flower art advocates nature. Takes nature as the first purpose, likes to learn from nature. And strives to show the natural beauty of flowers in form and color. Influenced by calligraphy, Chinese flower art pays special attention. To the modeling and beauty of material lines. And is good at using the changes of line thickness, inclination, curvature looseness and position of flower to enhance the expressive force of works different lines can express different connotations thick and straight lines show strong and straight characters such as pine and plum soft lines express warm and soft charm elongated lines express the natural rhythm densely arranged and drooping lines represent a landscape painting stretching for thousands of miles the winding lines express the charm of mountain streams. Chinese flower art also stresses the charming artistic conception of poetry or painting. Emphasizes the creation of artistic conception. Pursues the connotation and artistic beauty of floral works. And likes to convey feelings and express emotions through flowers. It focuses on creating elegant, fresh, natural and beautiful works with a few flowers. At the same time, it puts emphasis on seasonal characteristics and unity of works and environment. Japanese Ikebana is a flower combination art based on the principle of minimalism, which advocates the aesthetic concept of the beauty of a single flower is better than a full bottle of flowers. And the idea of, less is more, is deeply rooted in their hearts. The most classic representative is the morning glory of Sen no Rikyu. There is no unified view about the origin of flower art. One says that it originates from folk customs. And the other says that it is from flowers in front of Buddha. If holding flowers, that is, holding cut flowers in hand which is the prototype of today's handheld bouquets and wearing flowers, putting the hairpin on the head or on the lapel, and the people's flowers complementing each other, that is, today's clothing flowers, are considered flower art. We agree with the first view. In the Han Dynasty, it was very popular to enjoy flowers and trees. It was famous for its murals stone carvings, portrait bricks and other art forms. 
gardening has then begun to flourish. Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty built Shanlin Garden, the largest botanical garden in human history. During the period from the Three Kingdoms to the Southern and Northern Dynasties, the political situation was turbulent, and the people suffered from war. Some literati were either religious or reclusive in the mountains. They made friends with mountains, flowers and birds, and enjoyed themselves. Their literary and artistic thoughts showed the ideological realm of being detached from the secular world. Tao Yuanming, a famous poet in this period, wrote an eternal famous sentence, picking chrysanthemums under the east fence, leisurely seeing the south mountain. The Tang Dynasty was characterized by political stability, prosperity of the country and prosperity of the people, hence brilliant achievements in culture and art. And Chinese flower art also entered the Golden Age. In this period, the flower offerings in front of the Buddha are in two forms, vase flower and dish flower. Still mainly lotus and peony, with simple composition, elegant colors and symmetrical and solemn shapes. Flower art in Tang Dynasty became more popular. On the outer north side of the west niche of Dunhuang Cave 199, there is a Bodhisattva mural with a bottle of lotus in hand, which can be regarded as a typical image of Buddhist flower art. Tang people loved to arrange flowers and also did that in winter. At that time, there was a custom at the beginning of spring that fresh vegetables and cakes were used as spring plates for each other as gifts. However, the aristocrats continued the work of their predecessors to make them more perfect and beautiful. So they used flowers to make spring plates. In the mural of Prince Huai's tomb, there is a scene where the maid holds a small plate of flour. Maybe this is the spring plate. During the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period, Buddhism changed from prosperity to decline, and the political situation was turbulent. Most literati fled the war, went to other places, and wrote poems to express their inner anguish and helplessness. Flower art has also became a tool for them to express their thoughts and feelings. In Hua Jing, Zhang Yi matched the quality of flowers with people's positions. Flower art prevailed in Song Dynasty. Influenced by Neo-Confucianism, the flower art not only pursued pleasure and entertainment, but also paid more attention to the rational idea of conception. Its connotation was more important than form and it mostly expressed the author's rational interest, philosophy of life, ethics and so on. The picture shows the widespread application of flower art in people's life. Due to the political turmoil in Yuan Dynasty, the literati thought of avoiding the world was serious at that time. Flower art no longer focused on dogmatism but pursued to express personal thoughts and feelings through flowers. The meaning and tone of flowers were used to express the theme of the work. There was no fixed shape in the works, which is unrestrained. They used flowers to express their ambitions and ease troubles, thus forming a free and romantic form of flowers of the heart and flowers of freedom. The Ming Dynasty was the stage of revival. Prosperity and maturity of Chinese flower art. Which formed a complete system in both skills and theory. Most of the works were based on the pursuit of natural. Beauty and the display of the author's thoughts and interests. The content was more important than form. And there was a strong sense of ideas which was very similar to the Song Dynasty. In the Qin Dynasty, the flower art style advocated natural beauty, 
used flowers and plants as a pen to describe the beauty of nature, and decorated the room with beautiful works. For example, in Huang Shen's painting of Chrysanthemum Appreciation, there are only two chrysanthemums in the bottle, which are elegant and exquisite, natural and powerful. Like many Japanese cultures and arts, Japanese ikebana originated in China. It was introduced to Japan along with Buddhism in Sui and Tang dynasties as offering flowers to the Buddha. Later it combined with some ideas of Chinese painting, slowly developed, and gradually integrated into Japanese native cultural characteristics, developed a unique ikebana, and became one of the mainstream Japanese flower arts today. Let's look at the types of oriental flower art. The left side of the picture below shows Jianshan. Jianshan is made of copper needles, fixed on lead blocks of different shapes. According to whether Jianshan is used or not. The natural oriental flower art can be divided into two types. One is the flower art with wide mouth and short face. Which uses Jianshan. And the other is the flower art made in narrow mouth and tall vase. Which does not use Jianshan. No matter what kind of flower art type. The natural beauty is expressed by the lines of flower materials. And its pattern is composed of three main branches. Its highest branch is called the first main branch. The middle branch is called the second main branch. And the lowest branch is called the third main branch. Other branches are called slave branches. According to the different angles of the three main branches. Flower artworks can be divided into six basic types. Upright, inclined, flat out, tile, upside down and combining type. Upright flower work is designed to show the beauty of stretching. Standing upright and dignified. Such as regular script in calligraphy. It shows the pattern of plants growing upright and upward. So that the branches must stand upright. And the angle varies from 0 to 30. The works are flourishing, full of vitality. Dignified and beautiful natural and stretching, majestic, magnificent, peaceful and rational, especially suitable for festivals and grand occasions. Water basin flower art is refreshing and elegant, full of tenderness of water. The first picture on the right is the regular, script calligraphy work of Tian Ningzhang. The work, Autumn Fun, is the same as its font expression. Inclined flower work, such as running script in calligraphy, shows tenacious struggle between leisurely and carefree, giving people a comfortable sense of life, and can be used in living room or daily life. This type of works can show the dynamic beauty of plant growth, and the inclination of branches ranges from 30 to 60. As shown in the figure are the Chinese calligraphy work Chao Chao's, viewing the Songhai and the flower arrangement, ask the flowers with love. Flat out flower works extend horizontally and occupy a large space. Similar to cursive script, which can show great dynamics. Its materials are inclined from 60 to 90 with strong dynamic, unrestrained and punitive meanings, which can be used for study, exhibition and dining table decoration. The picture below shows Zhou Dunyi's Praise the Lotus and Gentleman's Friend Orchid and Chrysanthemum. Tile flower work, as shown in the figure, 
refers to a kind of flower arrangement in which branches are attached to the ground or water surface and do not extend into space, showing the quiet beauty of contentment. Upside down work refers to that the branches are inclined out and lower than the vase mouth, and the agility is stronger than that of flat out type, which means wandering, adventure and struggle, and is often used in wall hanging or special modeling. Combining type is the comprehensive expression application of the above types. Next, let's talk about the principles of Oriental flower art. Different from Western flower art. Oriental flower art pays more attention to the lines of flowers and the agility of shapes. There are the following points for attention when making flower artworks. The proportion and size of flower branches and Flower vessels should be appropriate. First, measure the size of vases, which is equal to the height plus the diameter. Second, the height of the first main branch is 1 to 2 times that of the vase. Third, the height of the second main branch should be 3 quarters of the length of the first main branch. Fourth, the height of the third main branch should be 3 quarters of that of the second main branch. Fifth, there is no limit to the number of supplementary branches around the three branches, which should be freely increased or decreased according to the work needs. However, there is a principle that the height of each supplementary branch cannot exceed the height of the main branch to which it belongs. Match flowers of different sizes. Flowers of different kinds but similar shapes should never be combined. Otherwise the main body will not stand out. Clear primary and secondary branches. When cutting flowers, choose the most beautiful branch as the main branch. And the rest as the auxiliary branches and foil branches to supplement the deficiency of the main branch. Distribute flowers evenly. Both main flowers and guest flowers should be considered to echo each other. The main branch, auxiliary branch and foil branch, should be properly matched and form a whole. Pay attention to the number of flower. Flower should be somewhat pictorial, but not too dense. If it is dense, it has a feeling of suffocation and no ventilation, which makes people uncomfortable. If it is sparse. The flowers and leaves are easy to express beauty. Match dark color with light color. If the color of the main flower is deep red, then the guest flower should be matched with light red. If the same deep red color is adopted, or the guest flower is darker than the main color, it will easily lead to the effect of usurping the host's role. Incline flowers and leaves. No matter whether it is a pot or a bottle, the posture of flowers and leaves should always be inclined rather than upright. As for the ideal slope, it depends on the size and form of the flower. Fully understand the nature of flowers. When choosing flowers, we should know the durability of main flowers and guest flowers. The selected materials should have the same habits. Otherwise, although the main flower is still radiant, the guest flower has faded, or the guest flower is still fresh. But the main flower is withered, which is disappointing. Use only one kind of matching leaves. If the main flower has leaves, and the guest flower also has leaves, you can only choose one of them at the expense of the other. Or neither, add grass. If two leaves are used together, or several kinds of grass are used, it will be too disordered. Make the height of flowers and leaves inconsistent. You should have a draft before pruning. The main flower should be slightly higher than the guest flower. The matching leaves must not be as tall as flowers. 
If the flower pot is a disc or a round bottle, the leaves should be scattered and hung around the flower pot. After understanding the principles of flower art, let's continue to learn the making methods. Before making flower artworks, we need to consider the special significance of them, such as season, occasion, objects, purpose, atmosphere and other conditions, and determine a good theme to serve as the basis for the selection of flower materials. First, prepare utensils. Choose flower utensils and clean them. Set up Jian Shan. And pack clean water. The water surface should submerge the tip of Jian Shan. And the water can be deeper in summer. As shown in the figure. Put Jian Shan in a wide-mouthed vessel and fill it with clean water. In Chinese flower art, flower utensils are regarded as land and houses. The picture shows all kinds of flower vessels. Generally speaking, flower arranging tools are divided into three categories. Pruning tools, fixing tools and auxiliary tools. As shown in the figure, knife. Scissors, binding, jian shan, flower mud, etc. Next, prepare flower materials. The following are common flower materials. And their flowering period and flower language. We can choose flowers freely according to the theme and principles. After we get the flowers, we should clean them and trim them moderately. Pruning should be carried out in a natural way. The purpose of branches should be determined. The main view of branches should be distinguished. The main lines should be defined. And the pruning should be done boldly and carefully. So as to make the best use of the resources. The following is the pruning of osmanthus branches. Natural beauty is rare, and natural lines are hard to find. Sometimes, in order to meet the needs of modeling and composition, we have to make necessary processing on the flower materials to make up for the inherent shortcomings of flower materials. As shown in the figure, the steps of bending the branches are as follows. 1. Bend branches with thumb. 2. Shake it up and down repeatedly and generate curves. 3. Knead and bend the shapes. 4. Twist the branches with both hands to bend them. 5. Thread toothpicks or iron wires through the bent. 6. Bend them after winding with iron wires. 7. Thread the iron wires into the branches. 8. Cut the skin of the branches obliquely with scissors, and then bend. 9. According to a gap, insert a small wedge, bend it forcibly. 10. Blanch it with hot water. 11. Bake it on fire. Second, the processing methods of leaves are as follows. 1. Slide the leaves in the fingers. 2. Wrap them around fingers or pipes. 3. Twist the leaves. 4. Fold them. 5. Tear the leaves and peel them off to make them change. Flower arrangement, be sure to insert the stem into the water. Commonly used methods include direct inserting method. Such as 1 and 2 in the figure. Wedge method, cross method, vertical cross method, tic-tac-toe method. Y-shaped method, grafting method, etc. Third, use the principle of flower art mentioned above to make layout and composition. Fourth, the flower artwork should be displayed in a suitable environment as much as possible, and photos should be taken to preserve the beauty forever. If the conditions are poor, take the white wall as the background. 
the environment must not be messy. Water is the key to the maintenance of works. The water quality should be clean and the appropriate water level should be maintained. When we know the concept of flower art, understand its history and culture, and appreciate its profound details. Let's apply the principles and basic operation methods of flower art. And further study the process of making. Flower art works through typical examples. Example 1, Upright Type. First, put Jian Shan on the left side. And then insert the first main branch. The second main branch and the third main branch in turn. Next, insert the template leaf. Finally, the work is done. Example 2, Inclined Type. First, put Jian Shan on the right side. And then insert the first, the second and the third main branch sequentially. Next, insert the auxiliary flower and branch to finish the work. Example 3, Flat Out Type. First, put Jian Shan on the left side. And then arrange the first, the second main branch. Next, arrange the slave branch. Finally, arrange the third main branch. Example 4, Upside Down Type. Put Jian Shan on the right side of the bottle. After that, arrange the first, the second and the third main branch. Insert the accessory flower to finish the work. Example 5, Combining Type. First, place Jian Shan. Second, insert the main branches. A. Insert the first main branch. B. Insert the second main branch. C. Insert the third main branch. Third, insert the auxiliary branches. A. Insert the main auxiliary branch. B. Insert the main auxiliary flower. And finally finish the work. This is the end of today's class. Thank you for listening. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the live class.大家好，今天为大家展示的插花作品主题为“岁岁平安”。这其中用到的花材有：鹤望兰、墨兰、银芽柳、虎尾天门冬、腊梅、绿色小雏菊、杜鹃、仙客来。接下来为大家。描述一下这个作品它所存在的寓意。首先，主题为“岁岁平安”，其中鹤望兰它作为第一主枝，它象征着对人们的美好祝福。希望每一个人能够年年平安，年年顺利。然后以银芽柳作为背景，红颜色，
，之后再用这个蜡眉，让作品更加的丰富和灵动。之后，我们再用这些花，比如绿色小雏菊，丰富它的内容。为了制造出空间感，高一些的绿色小雏菊可以放在前面，然后矮一些的可以放在后面，填补空白。杜鹃可以放在最下边，然后用仙客来作为点缀。之后，我们可以挂一些，嗯，可以烘托节日气氛的，像这个鞭炮，还有福字。这个作品制作完成，谢谢大家。大家好，我们的插花作品主题是“花好月圆”，应用的花材有红瑞木、文竹、百合、山茶、菊花、文瓣玄灵花。蜡花、洋甘菊。接下来，我们将展示插花制作流程。该作品用红瑞木和文竹缠绕弯曲成圆形，作为主体构架。在主体构架前，插入菊花、山茶、百合。然后用洋甘菊和蜡花作为点缀。最后插入文瓣玄灵花，显示出作品的灵动感。插花作品完成，谢谢大家。